Hi, welcome back to Furious Fiction. I'm Mark Mustion with Diane Roberts. Hello. Uh, we're so pleased to have Kim Edwards with us this afternoon. The very famous uh, Kim Edwards. That's right. Kim is the author of The Memories Keepers, Memory Keeper's Daughter and uh, The Lake of Dreams. And Kim, welcome. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. C coming to us from Kentucky, right? Uh, That's right. Okay. The, the Bluegrass State. Bluegrass uh, State. Yay. And, and I, I wanted uh -huh. to I have a confession to make to you, Kim. I, I'm one of the six people in America that has not read The Memory Keeper's Daughter. <laughs> uh, but, but I have read Lake of Dreams and I, and I enjoyed it. And I wanted to, I mean, your books have been published like in, I think, Memory Keeper's Daughter in 32 languages. Uh, it, tell us, just, I'm just kind of curious, is there a, a, a specific reaction you get to that book and to the other book? Just are things, is there some common commonality, people say, hey, uh, this does this for me, or what do you think? Well, that's a good question. I think I've had the same kind of response in terms of um, people feel moved by the books, that they touch the reader in a way that um, doesn't let them go. I, I hear that a lot in different formations, different people say it differently uh, wherever I go, but I hear that here and I hear it abroad when I go and, and do book tours there. You're clearly really interested in families and the kind of secrets people keep. This is, I think, true of both of those novels, that, that they think they're doing a good thing by keeping these secrets, but those secrets, of course, always end up coming out one way or another. Talk a little bit about uh, what attracts you to that. Well, I think it's really a wonderful narrative uh, engine, I guess, or it, it really can uh, spur a narrative to have a secret. And of course, with The Memory Keeper's Daughter, I was very deliberately working with a secret, and the secret is known to the reader right away um, in the very first chapter. But the reader knows more than the characters do. And I think a lot of the narrative tension of that book came from that, that distance that the reader had, or the reader's um, anticipation of what yeah. the characters yeah. would right. find back when. And when I started writing The Lake of Dreams, I didn't intend tend to work, uh, work with the secret motif again. I was working, um, there are two parallel stories in The Lake of Dreams. There's the contemporary story of Lucy Jarrett, and the book is set in 2006, and then there's a story that she discovers yeah, from yeah. her family past that has a direct and, and, and powerful impact on her own life. Well, and, and the so, house is such a great character in that, the house itself, right. you know, and, which and, holds and, and those the, secrets. And the art and the lake, I mean, it's all, yeah. there's a whole bunch of stuff wrapped up in that. So it's very well done, very, very great writing. Thank too. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I, it's, um, I love setting the book in that place because it's a place that I knew, although the book is fictional, I grew up in the Finger Lakes area of upstate New York. And so oh, to set the book in that area was a pleasure for me. It's got a nice gothic feel, sort of contemporary gothic. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean that in the good way, not in a <laughs> genre fiction way, but the sort of, you know, because gothic is a great American thing. Uh, sort of uh, technique that we are really always interested in secrets. We're interested in houses and the stories that houses hold. T yeah. Tell us what you're working on now, Kim. Do you have another novel? Or are you working on something different? Uh, tell us what's coming next. Yeah, I am working on another uh, book. I, I've just started the next novel, and to my surprise, I've also got an uh, interconnected series of short stories sort of uh, starting to brim, too. So I, I'm working on both of those things, just beginning. That's, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. exciting. That's, that's great. In indeed. What, what uh, um, uh, you know, when you travel around, you know, because you've been overseas with these books and that sort of thing, are there any particular story that jumps out at you of, you know, God, you wouldn't believe this happened in you know, Antwerp or whatever? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I've had some really wonderful experiences um, going overseas, and it's the, the the wonderful thing I think is the sort of universality of readers. I mean, they're different; they're different countries, different cultures, but the passion for books and the passion for reading that I see uh, all around the world has been really, really remarkable and really wonderful. Well, thanks. It, it's almost time for us to go. Uh, uh, we're, we're talking with Kim Edwards. Uh, she's the author of The Memory Keeper's Daughter and the uh, author of The Lake of Dreams. Kim, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we'll see you next time on Furious Catch Fiction. Catch you with the next book. Bye-bye.